arrived the, the the new the new sorters, the new recruits. Okay, okay. And my function is uh, let me see, uh, form form the the new soldier. Ah. Uh, and but um, this subject uh, is around uh, a lot of things. All right, all right. Involves, Involves a lot of things yeah, in this case. Yeah. All right, nice. Logistic, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's not just say hi, welcome. Yeah. There, there's other stuff. Okay. In your case, Leandro, do you already know where you will work in you or no? Yes. You are waiting. Yes, yes, I know. Ah. Uh, he, he proba uh, is uh, May. Um, no, May, there no, go. might, might. Can be both in there, don't worry. Uh, my my function uh, will be the the same fi function uh, of João Pessoa. Ah, this in your opinion is good or bad? No, it's good. It's good because For me, you already good. know what to do, right? Yes. All right, all right. No, I imagine in there at least you don't have to learn many things or anything like this, right? Let's see. Yeah. Good luck, sir. All right. Uh, for you in there, last Monday, you couldn't stay with us. You went on Wednesday and it was a different topic, all right? I will make a question to Philip now that everybody has problems to answer. Philip, do you remember what we talked about? Well, let me see. <laughs> this is always a hard question yeah, for everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh... Hmm. Um, we discuss a recruitment we discuss it, the army too in there and things like these video games ah yeah uh, about the simulation and the video game that um, simulates the the combat uh american arms the, the the name of game there you go Is all right produced for colonel I think by in this case by, produced by a by, colonel by a colonel USAR. Yeah, I remember. And there this. you go. All right. Leandro, do you think uh, if the army started to create video games, this would attract more people to the army? Or no, maybe no. Yeah, it can be because uh, this uh ger 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 generation, how can I say Gen generation? Go. There you go. Gen uh, generation uh likes like so much this 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 universe and can be a good attractive all right uh for and the... even we discussed it on monday or uh, what other things they could do if the army should use social media or not and things like this i remember philip said he would like to do dances on TikTok in there to oh. to do the <laughs> recruitment no uh in there Leandro, we cover about one minute and something all right i will play for us so that you philip can refresh the memory and put you in the topic in there all right but pretty much is what philip said the u.s army did a video game uh some years ago about two decades ago and the intention was exactly this to attract people and recruit more people all right just a second, let me share the screen and we enter in there. Do you play video games, Leandro? Nowadays, no more. Ah, but, but in the past, you used to play I, there. Yes. When you played, you used to like uh, war games and things like this or no? Yes, war games and uh, uh, soccer games. Uh, uh, game. Did you play it's... Winning Eleven? Yes, of course. Uh, this one is a classic, right? A classical, yes. Man, I, I lost a lot of classes in my first graduation playing Winning Eleven. You know, those things like, man, I have to go. And it was a student house, you know. And the guys would say, no, let's play one more. Okay, one more. No, one more. Well, <laughs> man, it's almost the time of the... Okay, I'll be 10 minutes late. 20 minutes? Nah, I will not go. And... Uh, I lost the class in this case, man. It, it was nice. I was never very good. I like it to play, but I was a little bad at. 
All right. What about you, Phil? When I say winning 11, Phil, you did like this in there. Did you used to play winning 11? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For me, Mario is a, is a classic. It's classic a classic. Game. For our generation, I think it's uh, a classic in there. I yeah. prefer the uh, winning 11 uh, on the uh, FIFA. Me too. 100% no. with you, sir. And a few years ago, I, I continue to prefer pace instead uh, instead of uh, FIFA, but I think that uh, there isn't uh, pace now. I, I don't know. I I stopped. No, play. I they think don't produce. Right? No, I, I go with you. I do. I no. stopped playing uh, a while already. In there, yeah, I stopped playing uh, gaming. I think this place. Station 2. Me too. Same place know. that you, sir. The last video game, the last console I have was a PlayStation 2 as well. Uh, what about you, Leandro? Did you have a PlayStation 2? What video game you used to play? Uh, I I start play gaming uh, when I was child. Uh, so I I play it uh, only FIFA because I I think it don't uh, don't uh, exist. Uh, is it here? Don't didn't exist in this didn't. case. Okay, didn't exist in uh, Win Eleven uh, before. After time uh, created uh, Winning Eleven, I play it, but uh, in nowadays no. But uh, a a bit bit time ago, I All play right. it. I play it uh, FIFA. Nice. I would, I, would, I, I like much uh, a FIFA. But, I, go, go, sir. Sorry. But but nowadays I, I don't have console. Ah, nice one. I confess I feel old when we enter in this because I remember for the computer I play FIFA 99. Yes. I yes. remember one time I was in the shopping with my father and my mother. I was in the seventh grade back then. And I saw FIFA 99 and I was wow. And I made a lot of promise. Like, if you buy, I will not fail this school year. I will have all dance in the test and things like this. I almost failed that school year. I only played <laughs> FIFA. It was like a, the other way around, you know. How can uh, how can I say viciado? Do you know, Philip, how to say viciado? No, no. Addicted. Addicted I, to something. I, I right. was addicted to in FIFA 99. Ah, me too. I confess. Once again, when I say I was addicted, that doesn't mean that I was good. But I, I used to play a lot in there too. All right. Nice one. Uh, just a second in here, guys. Let me start playing. Philip, you said that you never liked FIFA so much. But 99, did you play? No, no, no. I... I... I played uh, Superstar Soccer. Wow, in Nintendo. Yeah, in Super News. Good, 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 good. Yeah, after <laughs> I played. Alejo. Yeah. There you go. The, hey, Superstar Soccer is a classic one, too. Uh, right? It's a uh, nostalgic uh, video game in there. Uh, gentlemen, let me play a little for us. Just a second, all right? A few weeks ago, a long-running video game franchise was quietly laid to rest. And don't worry, I'm not talking about Sonic or Mario or Madden. As far as I know, those are all still safe. I'm talking about America's Army, which was made by America's actual army. Good morning, soldier, and welcome to the M16 qualification range. This game is quite possibly one of the most influential games ever made in terms of real-world impact, even though officially it never sold a single copy. So let me back up a little bit. By the late 90s, the U.S. Army didn't really have a very good public image. People thought of the Army as dirty, low-tech, and dangerous, and this was not good for recruitment. A guy named Casey Wardinsky, who was then a colonel in the Army, wanted to do something to improve that image. I visited the Pentagon to talk to him a while back, when he was the Assistant Secretary of the Army under former President Trump. You are the man who convinced the Army that you should get into video games. What was that like? Well, it was not as hard as you might imagine. Uh, it was uh, 1999. Games are very vivid. They also had the benefit of being at a direct communication channel with 
uh, young adults, right? You didn't have any mediation. And that promise of direct, direct, unmediated communication with young people was enough to get the Pentagon to start funding a video game. All right. So the idea in there, okay, the intention was to do a game for the recruitment, all right? The thing that they got it well, it was because it was unmediated communication with the possible recruits, all right? Uh, like we, we discussed it in the beginning, this can be something productive for somebody that wants to attract people and things like this, all right? In there, we will start watching, we cover until this part, all right? We will start watching the new ones in there. From this beginning, Leandro, what can you tell us in there, sir? What did you catch? What do you remember? I I caught uh, the the mainly the main uh, information is about uh, the intention of games in army uh, is is recruitment. It's not a uh, preparation for for war or other others uh, possibilities but is a, a recruitment uh, for army there you go all right in your case leandro you said that you played war games in there when you were younger do you think this helped you to wanting to join the army something like this game i i think no but I I believe that uh, cinema was important in my life. For I I start my my career in in army because of movie movies. I I like so much movies about war, and it mm. it, it it was a motivation for me. Ah, cool, sir. All right, nice one. What about you, Philip? The movies too, not so much. What do you think? Yeah, the movie too. I think that uh, all, all people that think join the army uh, watch the Rambo, uh, has guys to Soldado Ryan, and and uh, other movies. Move. Uh, okay, how do we say? Do you know the name of his gotcha do Soldado Ryan in English, sir? Rascal of Soldier Ryan? No. no, no, I don't think it goes like this. I don't know for sure. I will confirm, but I believe it's the Private Ryan Rescue. All right. All right. Do, you, do you know, Leandro, if it is like this? Private Ryan Rescue? I. I forget the, the name Saving. in English. Saving Forgot. Private Ryan. Just confirming here, okay? Saving, Saving Private Ryan. All right. All right. All right. Private. No problem. Private. Private is the guy that just entered the army. The, uh -huh. the low level in there. All right. You have private. Maybe, okay, you guys are more intended of this than me. You have private, corporal, sergeant, lieutenant, right. captain. All right. All right. Uh, and... Major colonel and general is like this. Is this correct? Yes. Ah, there you go. All right. Let's catch it in there, guys. Okay. Let's see it in there. In the war games, Leandro, were you good or you were like me playing winning eleven? War games, I, I, I was uh, so so. Ah, okay. In uh, soccer games, I, I was uh, a good. I remember one day I arrived, I had a night class in college. I arrived in, in my student house and the guys, they were playing winning 11 and drinking vodka. And they were like very, very drunk, very, very drunk. And I went to play and I couldn't be the drinking guys. And, you know, and you realize like, man, I really suck at this, you know. <laughs> and I, I gave up. I said, okay, this is really not for me. Nowadays, they have like professional video game players. Would you like to be, Philip, a professional video game player? No, they no, make no. a lot of money, sir. No, <laughs> no, but but I I know because I I like play, but I I get uh, boring. Uh, 
All right, sorry. In this case, you get bored. Bored. Now, ah, okay, okay. What about you, Leandro? Would you I... like to be a professional video game player, like uh, winning eleven for money? Oh yes, I I would <laughs> like. <laughs> it seems interesting put it like this, right? Yeah. Le let's catch it in there. I would starve to death if I depended my video game <laughs> skills to play games that I were good. It was like uh, adventure games. I used to play God of War. I like it a lot. God of War, you know, not like that. I was a master, but I could close the game and things like this. Discover some Easter eggs in the game. But everything that was a direct competition, it's always I'm never very good. All right, let me play in there a little bit more, guys. Just a second. So, just before July 4th, 2002, they presented America's Army at a massive video game convention in LA. They weren't exactly sure what people would think. So, I mean, who wants to play a video game made by the Army? It turns out a lot of people. And the game got overwhelmingly positive reviews. That's not to say that it was perfect. It made you start out with this boring, mandatory boot camp mode where it lectures you about army values. But after you finished that, America's Army was a really solid tactical shooter. But the biggest selling point was the price. See, America's Army ran on the same technology that was used by blockbuster titles like Bioshock and Splinter Cell. But this game cost zero dollars. This might Let's get in there, just a second. Direct, unmediated communication with young people was enough to get the Pentagon to start funding a video game. So, just before July 4th, 2002, they presented America's Army at a massive video game convention in LA. They weren't exactly sure what people would think. So, I mean, who wants to play a video game made by the Army? It turns out, a lot of people. And the game got overwhelmingly positive reviews. That's not to say that it was perfect. It made you start out with this boring, mandatory boot camp mode where it lectures you about army values. But after you finished that, America's Army was a really solid tactical shooter. But the biggest selling point was the price. See, America's Army ran on the same technology that was used by blockbuster titles like Bioshock and Splinter Cell. But this game cost zero dollars. All right. Uh, Leandro, let's go for you first, sir. What did you catch in there? What can you tell us? I I caught uh, better the the end informations uh, about the of price the the game uh, difference uh, that all other games Americans arm uh, was uh, cost costed uh, zero dollars cost. Zero Zero, there you go, there you go. Zero dollars. Or you can say something that costs zero, sir. It's for free. Okay. No problems? No problems. Uh, what about you, Philip? What can you put in there? And in there is just before you, Philip. Leon, cost, 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 cost. All right. It's in the present, uh, okay. the best. What about you, Philip? What can you tell us in there, sir? In the first part, uh, talk about the the presentation and the 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 game the how say lançamento uh, do you know this one Leandro true throw but can be but not in this case okay you can throw a ball for mm -hmm. instance you can throw a part in this case they launch all right or they release if release. it is a movie they release the movie all right for the game you can say launch is the launch the game and talk about to let me see information all right let's yeah. get it yeah. go go I, I don't catch a lot of things don't worry we go back we check the subtitles and we see what else they are putting in there all right just a second. Let's catch it in here. Promise of direct, unmediated communication with young people was enough to get the Pentagon to start funding a video game. So, just before July 4th, 2002, 
They presented America's army. All right. Uh, in there, I have a question that is not about English. Just a second, gentlemen. Excuse me. All right. Uh, enjoying that people are seeing us and things like this. We have one viewer, by the way. I will say don't have children, okay, gentlemen? For Philip, this is a late advice, but... <laughs> <laughs> uh, why do you think that they released the, the title in there, the game, in 4th of July? Just before 4th of July. Uh, Independence Day. Go. The, there is the whole strategy in there, all right? Would you like to be part of the marketing team of the army, Leandro? Uh, repeat, please. You, would you like to be part of the marketing team from the army or no? No, no, I, I don't like marketing. Uh, why not, sir? Uh, no, because uh, marketing, uh, for marketing, it, it is necessary uh much communication and expose uh explosion uh, explosion 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 i i don't like so much it uh, okay okay what about you philip uh, i'm a man of the background <laughs> that summarizes the answer in there, yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's let's catch the video in there, okay? So just before so, um all the military that I I know that I know uh, that try to to uh gain hype or uh, aparecer. do you know this one Leandro? there's Gr a phrase over there grow up show up show up show up show up, show up. Show up. using the army uh feel bad uh, when went wrong got bad all right yeah, our got screw that. got screw is uh screw. is laying in there yeah, all right cool. uh we said show up do you guys understand the difference of show up and show off two phrasal verbs in there the difference a, of show up and show off show up show up off no okay. no not in this case not in this case all right and this is the problem, one of the problems we have with phrasal verbs in English. Sometimes they, they don't go just for the preposition. Show up, imagine like this, uh, Leandro will throw a party in there. He said, man, it's my birthday, I will give a party. And in the day, Philip and I, we show up to the party. We arrive there and we show ourselves, like I'm here, we show up. Imagine that Philip arrives in your party, Leandro, and he starts saying like this, Hey, I am rich. Look at my new cell phone. My cell phone is amazing. Look mm -hmm. at my t-shirt. I am good. I can shoot. I can jump. Philip is showing off in this I case. Okay. All right. The idea of show off is this idea when you think overthink yourself. All right. All right. No problems. Oh, Philip, do you show off, sir? Or no, you are a background man, like you said I'm there. A background man. <laughs> all right in there guys let's check it in there what about okay i always go and forget what i was gonna ask just before fourth of july just do you guys understand what it is this just uh long após huh Antes, this, it. there you go all right just before is when it is like something really close to the situation, but before, all right? Like in this, just before our class, I was reviewing the questions I did and the video to prepare the conversation, okay. all right? Just before I start transmitting the video, I asked your permission. It is something that is very close. 
If it is for the future, you guys can use about to. Do you guys know about to? When you are about to do... No, not in this case. When you are about to do something, you are like really, really close to do something there. Like in there, I am about to play the video again. I am very close to. A good translation, since we are working with translation for about to, prestes a. All right. No problems? No problems. Uh, in there. Let's see it in here. All right. Can I play for us, guys? Let's go. Me at a massive video game convention in LA. Hey, a curiosity. Can you guys do this in the rope, this up ceiling, going down with the head and things like this? Yes. Yeah. Wow, that was a so trivial. Yeah, like, every, everybody can do this. I'm, I'm feeling bad again. No problem. <laughs> 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 Shit, I'm useless. If you remove English off my life, I cannot do anything. You know, I can't play video game. I can't down a rope. I would die in the, the jungle. Something like this. <laughs> Let's catch it in there, guys. Hey, they weren't exactly sure what people would think. I mean. Who wants to play a video game made by the army? All right. No problems with this sentence. No problems. They weren't sure exactly what people think, because who wants to play a game made by the army? No problems. Leandro, okay? No. No. Okay. If the army creates a game, Leandro, do you think people will play? Uh, Brazilian armies create a game is you know, <laughs> is a crazy but uh, who knows right? the it's future possible. is uncertain uh, do, it's possible. what do you think philip hey, create a, 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 a table game can be a board better. game a board, board game, game. <laughs> like because, brazilian army truco uh, <laughs> because because it is it's fun for example, uh, I think it's the, not the name the, the game is uh, Minecraft. It's, Minecraft. It's, how to say Tosco? It's full. You can put it's like full. this. It's full. That pixel big. And I, I, I don't imagine. I, I play the game, but a lot of people like the game. I, I don't know. All right. Don't know. And a lot of people. And in there, what we said in there, there are people who like the yeah. game, play the game, and watch YouTube videos of people playing the game. Uh, you know? yes. So uh, uh, I think that that is crazy for for often. <laughs> okay, you got a point in there, Philip. I agree with you. My daughter likes Minecraft and Minecraft things, but my daughter is seven, so I understand. But when you see adults playing Minecraft, it's a little strange. I respect any kind of taste. I go with yeah. Philip, crazy for everything. But I think it's strange in there, all right? Uh, let's see it. Let's see it in here, guys. Just a moment. Here, let me play first. It turns out a lot of people. Turns out. Do you guys understand what it is, turn out? Uh, yeah, in this case, it goes like this. It in happens case. that a lot of people, all right? In the end, a lot of people, all right? Yeah. It turns out is when you have the uh, contrast in this case. Like in there, uh, when I ask it about the show up, show off, you guys imagine that off was to say like turning off, but it turns out that show off is when you expose yourself. All right. No problems? No problems. Leandro, no okay. Philip? Okay. Let's catch it in there. Let's catch it in there. And the game got overwhelmingly positive reviews. Hey, big word in there. Overwhelmingly. All right. Every time, guys, if we have a big word in there. Remember, we cut. All right. Man, we have only one guy watching, and the guy just texted me saying, man, don't talk bad about Minecraft. 
Uh, yeah, we can. No, I will say that Minecraft sucks. Uh, but in there, guys, every time we have a big word, something like this, overwhelmingly, let's break it, okay? Lee is to create the adverb, all right? So overwhelming is something. Something that is overwhelming is something that is too demanding, is something that is too heavy, all right? Okay. Something that squashes. Imagine, ah, Philip's day. You said that it was exhaustive, that you did a lot of stuff. It was an overwhelming day, all right? Many tasks, many obligations, all right? Okay. No problem. It's like a, a lot of things to do, something with a lot of pressure, all right? It's overwhelming. No problems? No Your problem. days, Leandro, are overwhelming or no? No, no. It's a, a lot today. Ah, there you go, Philip. So it's your problem, sir. Yes. <laughs> Let's catch it in there, okay? Let's see it. It's not Friday. Ah, at least, right? And if it works for you, Philip, I'm making jokes, but I will work until 10 p.m. today. So <laughs> yeah. the joke is on me. Like they say, <laughs> the joke is on me, all right? Let's catch it in there, guys. That's not to say that it was perfect. It made you start out with this boring, mandatory boot camp mode. All right. Do you guys know what it is? A boot camp? Yeah, boot camp is a um, a camp that is a um, with the the first camp, the this recruit made. Yeah. I, yeah, what you're saying is correct. All right, it's a training camp. It's yeah. something like a training camp. All right. Uh. Okay, I will say something, but I will ask if my example is correct for you guys, okay? Before you go to the academy, you pass one year in Campinas, right? Yes. In Campinas, for what I understood, you receive like the basic training in Campinas. Campinas is the idea of the boot camp in there, no. all right? It's where you have the first punch of the arm. They will show like, this is how it will be, all right? The tournament in Campinas, Philip. It's hard, not so much. It's funny. How do you see it now that it when it passes? We have a different view, right? <laughs> yeah. But now that it passes, how do you see it? Yeah, uh, it happens uh, because the in in experience, experience, experience. In, uh, without experience, the, uh, an unexperienced, unexperienced. Unexperience. Uh, the the camp uh, become, become uh, a little hard because uh, you you don't know uh, what happened. Uh, all of things is surprise and uh, okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Do you agree with Philip Leandro? Yes, I agree. Uh, all okay. right. New is it is uh I just in in Campinas. Sorry, it cuts what you said for me. Sorry, can you repeat? I heard the in and Campinas in the end. There are the middle in between it cut. Can you repeat? Uh, all things is new. Ah, uh, okay. Are new is, news? Everything is or all things are the way you said in there. But everything, everything is all right. Uh, and I imagine it there. It's similar to the, the academy in Hezange. I imagine the first and the last year are the worst, probably. Because of the same one. The first you are discovering, and the last is the graduation that you will work a lot to just finish. And when you finish, there is a lot of tension. Like, where will I go? What I have to do? Will I be the first? Will I be the last? And things like this. Good luck in there, guys. Good luck in there. All right, let's see it. The mandatory boot camp, mandatory. No problems. You guys understand what it is? Something mandatory? Yeah. Is yeah. it Andrew? Order. So, order. Mm, can be, can be. All right, but like for instance, I can, I can order something for uh, in I foods. All right. There you go. It's an obligation, all right? Obligation. Like a uh, enlist for men with 18 years old in Brazil 
to enlist in the army is mandatory. Like Leandro said, it's the idea of an order, but it's like the obligation, all right? Nobody has to tell me I have to go. I know I must go there, all right? Let's see it in there. Nowadays, they, they do this in an online app. I, I think this is so unfair with me. I used to wake up 4 a.m. to go to the army joint in there. Very cold in Sao Paulo and things like this. I would be in a, li a line that was gigantic. Nowadays, they download an app, put yeah. the name, and they enlist it. This is not fair. All right. Let's catch it in there, guys. Let me play a little more. Where it lectures you about army values. But All right. Lecture. Do you guys know what it is a lecture? Um... I don't know. Lecture is when you have somebody that is an expert, some kind of an expert, and he will speak to an audience. All right. I hate. Yeah, nobody likes very much. Sometimes there is one or other that is attractive, but nobody likes a lot. For Leandro, that is closer in there, sir. Next year you will see a lot of lectures, sir. As far I never passed it there, but as far as I understood by my students, it's always based on lectures. It's lecture after lecture after lecture. So, do yes. you like lectures, sir? No, <laughs> no, I, no. Uh, there, there are uh, lectures interesting lectures, but uh, the most of time is not good. Are not good. All right. No, and I go with you. We have good and bad. I believe that every lecture that is mandatory, to use the term in there again, will be boring probably because you don't want to be there in the beginning. So, But sometimes it can get your attention and things like this. All right. Let's catch it in there. Let's catch it in there. So it starts with the boot camp mode. It's a training course where they will lecture you about the army values. They will talk about the army values and things like this. All right? Yeah. Let's see it in here. But after you finish that, America's army was a really solid tactical shooter. All right, no problems. All right. Well, question for you, Leandro. Are you a really solid tactical shooter? In there, he's putting as a reference to say that the game hit the spot. It was good. For you, I'm asking literal. Are you a really solid tactical shooter? Or you shoot like American movies? You get the gun and give 300 shots. And if no. one hits the target, it's good. No, no. Uh, we learn it uh, to be, to be a, a solid tactical shooter. Nice one. All right. Philip, that means you are a solid shooter too, a tactical shooter or an American Hollywood moves. Like, like one hits the shoulder. I think he's a Hollywood shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. Nice one. I already said this in here for you guys. I never shot a gun in my life. I never holded a gun in my life. I And I am half blind so i don't think i would be very good for this maybe if it was like a sniper position something like this but if you give me a gun and i have to shoot probably i will shoot myself something like this <laughs> let me try there in here guys but the biggest selling point was the price see america's army ran on the same technology that was used by all right no problems in there uh this run is like operates okay it's the verb run but it's meaning like operates all right my question is about a blockbuster do you guys know what it is a blockbuster we can have blockbuster games blockbuster video and yeah. if you guys are old enough there was a dvd renting store called blockbuster yes i remember yeah. this this yeah. this shows the image sir probably you have some white hair in there uh, yes much do you remember blockbuster do you know what it is a blockbuster philip yeah i know that i i i came in campinas because uh in recife there isn't uh 
there, there uh, isn't uh, and there wasn't. Uh, there was, there was uh, in, in Recife. But when I arrived in, in Campinas, uh, close to SpaceX, uh, there is there was. one. There, uh, there, there was, was there, sorry. There, was uh, there, was there isn't, uh, there aren't blockbusters to rent movies nowadays, sorry. Blockbuster is something that makes a lot of success, all right? A movie that a lot of people watches, a game that a lot of people buy, it's a blockbuster. Titanic was a blockbuster, Avatar was a blockbuster, all right? Uh, the, the same of bestseller. Best seller is the idea of a blockbuster Buster, for a but, book. But, there you go. All right. Good, good comparison, sir. Can you tell me another blockbuster? I gave two in there Avatar and Titanic. Can you give me another one, Leandro? Vasco. <laughs> blockbuster <laughs> team. <laughs> ah, okay, sir. I will respect you, sir. I will ask Philip in there. Philip, if you say sports, I will close the class, okay, uh -huh. sir? Can you give me another blockbuster, sir? Uh, um, Band of Brothers, I think that. Yeah, I, I think it was a show that was a blockbuster. A lot of people watch it too, all right? Nice one, nice one, all right? How is Vasco, sir, since you, you said it there? The very good the uh, yesterday. Uh, we, we have it's we the have first have time a... in one year of class that I have this answer from them. <laughs> <laughs> we have a a, a very good uh, match. We have we had ah okay okay it was against who sir the powerful Madureira uh, like his age his age. Ah, That's there you go. It was the cadets from the, the academy cad <laughs> play against Vasco, right? Something like yeah. this. Philip, how is the sport, sir? Or let's go back to the video. Uh, sport, uh, I think it played yesterday. Uh, and um, uh, again, I guess I think it's hit through. Ah, nice one. Retro is a nice team. Retro is a nice surprise that Pernambuco show in Brazil in there. <laughs> Do you know Retro, Leandro? No. Retro? Retro is nice because like this, is a small team from Pernambuco, but they started the team pretty much as a Safi idea. Yeah. And the team has a lot of, not a lot of money like Vasco or Botafogo, but has a good financial support. And the team started with the idea like this. We are going to build a great facilities, great installation for the players. So the, the base categories, the, the teenager children, they play in a very good structure. And the professional team has an outstanding structure to train, you know. So you have like Sports Santa Cruz and Nautico that are like uh, famous big teams from Pernambuco. And they don't have the same infrastructure that Retro has. Yeah. It's it's nice. It's uh the team sucks, it's terrible, but the structure is amazing. Yes, All good, right. Yes. Let's catch it in there, guys. Let's catch it in there. Just a stack. So Blockbuster is the same as a bestseller. Nice comparison, Leandro. Let's see it. Blockbuster titles like Bioshock and Splinter Cell. But this this two in there, guys, Bioshock and Splinter Cell. Do you guys know? Have you guys ever heard? No. no I, I, I heard Humble Six. Humble Six? There is a game for Humble Six, sir? Yeah. And I never heard this one. I confess I, I, I like Humble, the movies, the first ones, because they are funny. I well, always remember the uh, Rainbow, Rainbow Six. Uh, ah, not, not Rainbow okay, Six. okay. Other one in there, not Humble the Soldier. Yeah. Rainbow, Rainbow Six. Rainbow Six. Don't know, don't know too. Is a shooting game like this too, sir? Yeah, it's the same as SWAT. Nice the one. SWAT. I will check, yeah. I will check. All right. Let's catch it in there, guys. Just a moment. This game cost zero dollars. This might. All right, let's catch in there without subtitles now, okay? 
That's not to say that it was perfect. It made you start out with this boring, mandatory boot camp mode where it lectures you about army values. But after you finished that, America's Army was a really solid tactical shooter. But the biggest selling point was the price. See, America's Army ran on the same technology that was used by blockbuster titles like Bioshock and Splinter Cell. But this game cost zero dollars. This might not sound like a big deal now, but back in 2002, this was unheard of. This might sound like a terrible way to make money, and it was. By 2009, the Army had sunk around $33 million into this thing. But the Army wasn't trying to make money. It was trying to make kids want to enlist. The decision space where people are thinking about careers really starts at probably age 13-ish. And uh, the United States spends a heck of a lot of money on high quality of life, right? Medical care, housing, educational opportunities. We kind of have an obligation to tell kids about that, um, both for the good of the Army and for the good of the kids. They don't have to choose it, but if they never knew, it would be a shame, right? And Let's catch it again, just a second. Cost zero dollars. This might not sound like a big deal now, but back in 2002, this was unheard of. This might sound like a terrible way to make money, and it was. By 2009, the Army had sunk around $33 million into this thing. But the Army wasn't trying to make money. It was trying to make kids want to enlist. The decision space where people are thinking about careers really starts at probably age 13-ish. And uh, the United States spends a heck of a lot of money on high quality of life, right? Medical care, housing, educational opportunities. We kind of have an obligation to tell kids about that. Um, both for the good of the army and for the good of the kids. They don't have to choose it, but if they never knew, it would be a shame, right? And All right. Philip, what did you catch in there, sir? Not so much? Yeah, not so much. It's, it's All right. I look at Philip and Philip was already like this this time. <laughs> what about you, Leon? What can you tell us in there? I, I caught uh, about the nowadays it's not possible uh, to do uh, a games uh, with zero cost. Uh, uh, for example, in, in 2009, American Army uh, spent no spent what? spent spent uh, 30, 30 million dollars. And after this information, I, I don't cut much. And in there, I don't cut? How it is in the past, this sentence, sir? We have a problem Pets. in there. I didn't catch. There you go. Did, didn't right. catch. If you had $33 million, Philip, would you create a game? Or would you travel the world? <laughs> I, I don't create. I didn't create. I wouldn't, in this case. Uh, I wouldn't create. All right. Why not, sir? It seems like a good idea. Mm, for example, on day I don't have a console. Uh, my my last console was a Super Nintendo. Okay. And, but I I like it again, but I, I'm not fun. Not uh, I'm not. I'm not uh enthusiastic about yeah. it, right? Yeah. All right, all right. Leandro, what about you, sir? Considering that you don't have 33 million dollars, because we know you have, if you had 33 million dollars, sir, would you create a video game? It would be an area that you would invest. And uh, I think no, because uh I like I like so much video games, but uh, this 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 uh, area, esse ramo, how this can I say? Area, area is area. Okay, sir. It's the same okay. word, only the pronunciation. This field is the other. This or this, if you want, this branch. Okay, this this branch. Uh, needs uh, uh so much money for disinvolvement other technology and innovations there you go 
But this in there, how do we say desenvolver or desenvolvimento in English? Do you know, Philip, Leandro? Develop. Development. Develop. Develop is the verb. Develop man is the noun. There you go. To develop or for the development of this one in there. I don't know you. Philip said in there about buying a console and things like this. I don't know if I told you guys. A while ago, my daughter is starting to get interest for games. You know, she plays in the cell phone and things like this. And with my innocence, <laughs> I thought, okay, I will buy a video game to play with her. Maybe the video game will cost like a thousand bucks, but we parcel on the credit card, you know, 10 parcel. Man, I had absolutely no idea how much it costs a video game nowadays. I realized that I am very innocent. One PlayStation nowadays costs like 6,000 bucks. Yeah. One, one yeah. video game. And every single game of the PlayStation costs like 300 bucks the game, you know? Yeah. Uh, I remember I had a PlayStation 2. I would go to the center of Itaquera, the neighborhood I live in, in Sao Paulo. I used to buy three games for 10 bucks, all legal. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a blank CD, handwritten, like a Crash 2, you know, something like this. Nowadays... You are, you are happy and... Yes, and I didn't know it. <laughs> exactly. Uh, and then I... I thought about and then i did like this okay playstation 5 like out of range for decades in there i will buy a playstation 5 when my daughter is 30 you know something like this <laughs> i went to playstation 4 and the difference is small and then playstation 3 and then i said man i will buy a playstation 2 that will be very expensive it will be hard to get the games and i said ah she will play on the cell phone and she yeah. must be happy you know she will be happy with this and that's enough it's impossible all right yes. uh let's catch it in there guys just to close it all right let's go with the subtitles to, to finish this one just a second cost zero dollars this might not sound like a big deal now but back in 2002 this was un. all right uh it doesn't sound like a big deal do you guys understand what it is no problems like yes. good business uh, no problem. Future. Be careful. A big deal is like something big, some a big business. All mm -hmm. right. But uh, it was unheard of. Do you guys understand unheard? No. We have here ah, ta, okay. something that was heard. Something unheard is something that nobody ever heard about. All right. Yeah. Like ah. a Vasco is a blockbuster. That was unheard <laughs> for me. First time I saw, so I heard somebody saying this, all right? Let's catch it there, guys. Heard of. This might sound like a terrible way to make money. And no problems in there? No problems. And it was. By 2009, the Army had sunk around $33 million. In sunk. Sunk is the best form of sink. Sink is a verb, all right? Before asking you guys, do you guys know the Titanic? Yeah. Yes. Titanic sunk in the North Atlantic. All right. The Batomush, uh, okay. to give a Brazilian experience, the Batomush sunk in, I don't remember, Rio de Janeiro, if I'm not mistaken. All right. No problems. Vasco sunk about the 2000 in there. All right. <laughs> Let them to finish in there, guys. I will send a video in there for you guys in case you want to finish. All right. Okay. But for today, in there, any questions, comments, or complaints, or jokes of blockbusters? No, no. Everything uh, okay. Thanks for class. Thank you very much. All right. Have a good afternoon and a good weekend in there. Okay, guys. Okay.